Hi guys! Sa video na to, I'm going to discuss one common real-life problem in hyperbola, the nuclear cooling tower problem. For your information, most nuclear cooling tower is in the shape of a hyperbola because this shape can stand against strong winds and typhoons. And also, mas makakatipid sa materials na gagamitin sa pag-construct ng tower kung ang shape niya ay hyperbolic. Okay? So let's start with the first problem. Okay, the first problem is, if the x-axis is placed at a height of 100 meters, the outer edge of a cooling tower can be modeled by the equation x squared over 900 minus y squared over 1600 equals 1 measured in meters. If the tower is 150 meters tall, find the width of the cooling tower at the top. So let us consider this problem based on this uh, illustration. Okay. It is stated in the problem that the x-axis is placed at the height of 100 meters. So we know that this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. So meaning the distance from the base to the x-axis is 100 meters. So this is 100 meters. And it is stated that the height of the tower is 150 meters tall. Meaning guys, this is the base. So from this base up to this point the origin because in uh, solving real life problems about hyperbola like this we are considering the origin as the center so it is also obvious in the given equation so if the distance from the base to the x-axis or to the origin is 100 we can say that the the height from the origin to the top of the tower is 50 why? Because the total height of the tower is 150 meters. Okay? Uh, by the way, since uh, yung 100 is below the, the x-axis, we can make it as negative in representation only to the Cartesian plane. But the height or the distance is positive always. Okay? So the question is, <clears throat> find the width of the cooling tower at the top. So we are going to find the diameter of the cooling tower dun sa taas. Ito yun. So, how we're going to do that? So, it's very simple. Meron tayong point dito. Ang point na to, ang y coordinate niya is yung height na 50 meters. Pero, ang hahanapin natin yung x coordinates. So, x, 50. Yan yung point na gagamitin natin. So, yung x dito is from this line, from the y axis to this point. So, to find the width, we just multiply x by 2 or we have to twice or to double yung x yung value ng x para makuha natin yung width okay that's very simple kagamitin lang natin yung equation na x squared over 900 minus y squared over 1600 equals 1 then sa substitute lang natin yung x50 dito so we are looking for x so just co copy x squared over 900 minus may value tayo ng y yung 50 so 50 squared over 1600 equals 1 so simplify x squared over 900 minus 50 squared is 2500 divided by 1 6 equals 1 then to solve for x we just transpose negative 2 5 over 1 6 to the right so x squared over 900 equals 1 from negative it becomes plus 2500 over 1600 then we have x squared over 900 equals 1 plus for the computation becomes easier we can cancel the 0 magiging 25 over 16 or 25 over 16 and then we have x squared over 900 equals 1 times 16 is 16 plus 25 is 41 over 16. And then, to solve for the value of x, we have to do cross multiplication. We just cross multiply. x squared times 16 is equal to 16x squared. And then, 41 times 900 is equal to 36,900. Okay? And then, to solve for x, we divide both sides by 16. We have x squared is equal to 
36,900 divided by 16. And uh, get the principal root or the positive root because we are looking, looking at the measurement. So we have square root of 36,900 over 16. And this will give you, using your calculator, it will give you 15 square root of 41 all over 2. So you must, uh, you must uh, use your calculator na lang dito sa part na to. So ang square root dito, ang simplified form ay 15 square root of 41 over 2. So ito yung x. So kumbaga ito yung radius lang nung uh, top, nung cross section ng top o si circular yan. So ang hinahanap ko si diameter, yung width. So ang gagawin mo lang, i-multiply yung x sa 2. So 2x which is equal to 2 times 15 square root of 41 over 2. And that is the width is equal to, makakansa lang yung 2. So, 15 square root of 41 meters. Okay? Kung i-express mo siya sa decimal, it is approximately equal to 96.05 meters. Okay? So, ganyan lang yung mag-solve ng problem kapag given yung equation. Okay, dito sa next problem, ang pinagkaiba lang nito dun sa una, dito hindi na given yung equation. Okay, so let's see. A nuclear power plant has a large cooling tower with sides curved in the shape of a hyperbola. The radius of the base of the tower is 60 meters. The radius of the top of the tower is 50 meters. The sides of the tower are 80 meters apart at the closest point, located 100 meters above the ground. Letter A, find the equation of the hyperbola that describes the sides of the cooling tower. And letter B, determine the height of the tower. Okay, let's analyze the problem. So, gagamitin na natin itong illustration na to. Ito yung nuclear cooling tower na nakalagay na siya sa Cartesian plane. So, ang first given dito, the radius of the base of the tower is 60 meters. So, radius so from this point to this ay 60 meters. Okay. Then, sabi dun sa next, the radius of the top of the tower is 50 meters. So, from this point to the y-axis, 50 meters. And then, the sides of the tower are 80 meters apart at the closest point. So, makikita nyo guys, yung closest point, ito yung uh, point na kapag kinunek mo, yung line na yon dadaan sa center. So, dito, dadaan dito. So, ito yung closest point. Makikita naman natin sa graph. Sa so, ayan. So, ang, ang distance daw na yan, 80 meters, kasi they are 80 meters apart. So, pwede nating sabihin na ito ay negative 40, ito ay 40, okay? So, for representation, itong 60 na to, ang y value niya is negative 60, kasi below the origin siya. So, negative 60 yan. Okay, then sabi doon, the sides, okay, 80 meters apart, at the closest point, located 100 meters above the ground. Okay, so, distance daw nito from the ground ay... 100. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay uh, negative 100. Okay, sorry. This 60 pala is the x, ano, the horizontal. So, from the x-axis yan. Itong 60 kasi radius. So, itong height na to, from the origin to the base, ay 100. Ang distance. So, negative 100 siya kasi nasa baba siya ng x-axis. Nasa baba siya ng origin. So, ang unang hinahanap ay Find the equation of the hyperbola that describes the sides of the cooling tower. So, alam natin na ang center niyan ay origin. Then, ang, ang form na gagamitin natin, ang form niya, ay yung x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. So, yung a ma-identify na natin kasi yan yung transverse axis. Ang transverse axis dito, yung segment or yung line na dadaan dun sa center. So, ito yun. Ito yung segment na to. So, ano ba yung length niya? Sabi dun, di ba, 80. So, ano yung A? Ang A is half ng length ng transverse axis. So, ang A natin is 80 divided by 2, 40. Pero, hindi natin alam ang value ng B. Hindi natin pwedeng i-assume na ang B ay itong height na to. And, or ito, kasi hindi sila equal. Dapat equal yan. Para masabi natin na yun yung length ng conjugate axis para makuha yung value ng B. So, anong gagawin? So, gagamitin natin itong value na to dito sa equation. Then, may isang available pa na point. Alin dyan? So, ito. 
itong point na to, may coordinate siya. So, the horizontal is 6D and the vertical is 100. So, baba siya, negative 100. So, itong dalawang ito at saka ito, gagamitin natin para makuha muna natin si value ng B. Okay? Simple substitution lang yan. Ang X natin ay 60. Ang A natin ay 40. Then, ang Y ay negative 100. So, mahanap natin si B. Okay. Substitution. X squared. So, 60 squared. Over A squared. 40 squared. Minus Y squared. So, negative 100 squared. Then, ang B yun ang missing. So, B squared equals 1. So, we have 60 squared is equal to 3,600. And then, 40 squared is equal to 1,600. Okay. Then, minus, negative 100 squared is 100 times 100, 10,000. Over B squared equals 1. So, to solve for B, it is better, or I suggest, na i-transpose na lang natin ay ito. To the right, ito ilipat doon. Kasi kung ito ay ta-transpose natin, may negative pa dyan. So, mag-divide pa tayo by negative. So, para malesan yung time, transpose na natin ito. So, mangyayari dyan, 3,600 over 1,6. Ito yung dadalhin mo sa left. So, from positive, magiging minus 1 equals ito negative. Pag dinala sa right, magpa-positive. So, 10,000 over B squared. So, para mas masimplify, cancel na natin yung 0,0 dyan. So, magiging 36 over 16 siya. Pwede pang ma-lowest term yung 36 over 16, di ba? Divisible by 4. 36 divide 4, 9. 16 divide 4, 4. O, mas simplify siya. Minus 1 equals 10,000 over B squared. So, 9 fourth minus 1. So, yung 1 is 4 over 4 yan. Para maging similar sa denominator dito. So, 9 minus 4 is 5 over 4. Kung gusto nyo, 4 times negative 1, negative 4, plus 9, 5 fourth pa rin. Equals 10,000 over B squared. And then, cross multiply. So, we have 5 times B squared. So, 5 B squared. Then, 10,000 times 4 is equal to 40,000. Okay? 40,000. And then, divide both sides by 5. So, we have B squared is equal to 40,000 divided by 5 is 8,000. So, may B squared na tayo, 8,000. So, ano yung equation? So, ang answer sa letter A, yung equation lang naman ang hinahanap dyan. So, the equation is X squared over ang A squared natin. So, ang A ay 40. So, ang A squared dyan ay 1,6. So, X squared over 1,600 minus Y squared over the value of B squared, 8,000 equals 1. Okay, yung next na question is yung height ng tower. Ang hahanapin naman natin yung height ng tower. So, kung makikita nyo guys, yung baba from the center to the base, mayroon tayong height dyan, 100 meters, di ba? Ito yun. So, kailangan lang natin mahanap ito. Itong Y na to. Baga, So, paano siya mahanap? So, gagamitin naman natin itong point na to. So, ang x niya, syempre, yung horizontal distance, yung 50, and then y. So, kapag nakuha mo yung y, i-add lang natin sa 100, yun na yung height. Diba? Ito yung y, itong distance na to is 100. So, y plus 100, yun yung height. Okay? So, itong 50y na to, isa-substitute lang natin dun sa equation para makuha natin yung value ng y. Then, makukuha na natin yung height. Okay? So, let's continue. So, ang ating equation ay x squared over 1,600 minus y squared over 8,000 equals 1. So, yung point na gagamitin natin ay 50y. So, i-substitute lang natin siya dito. So, ito ang x, ito ang y. So, we have 50 squared all over 1,600 minus y squared over 8,000 equals 1. So, ganun ulit. Ito nang i-transpose natin sa right. So, we have 50 squared is equal to 25 at 2,500. So, over 1,600 minus 1 equals magiging positive na siya. y squared over 8,000. So, ito, makakancel na lang yung 0 para mas masimplify. 25 over 16. 
So, 25 over 16 minus 1 equals y squared over 8,000. Then, 25 over 16 minus 1, that is 16 over 16. So, 25 minus 16 is 9. So, 9 over 16 equals y squared over 8,000. So, again, cross multiply. So, 16 times y squared. So, that is 16y squared. Then, 9 times 8,000 is equal to 72,000. So, yan. Solve for y again. Then, we have dividing both sides by 16. So, you will have y squared equals 72,000 all over 16. And the answer for that is 4,500. So, okay. To solve for y, get the square root. Positive square root ulit. So, measurement na pinag-uusapan natin. So, square root ng 4, 5 is approximately equal to 67.08. 67.08. So, may uh, y na tayo. Then, yung, yung distance from center to the base ay 100. So, therefore, ang height ng tower is equal to y plus 100. And ang y natin ay 67.08 plus 100. And that is equal to 167.08 meters. So, ito na yung, mag ito na yung height ng nuclear cooling tower. So, ganun lang mag-solve ng problems uh, gamit yung concept ng hyperbola uh, na related sa nuclear cooling tower. Okay?